IFRS 10 is for consolidation of financial statements that outlines the requirements for the preparation and presentation of consolidated financial statements. It also defines the principle of control as the basis for consolidation and sets out how to identify whether the investor controls the investee. IFRS 10 was issued in May 2011 and applies to annual periods beginning on or after on 1st of January 2013. Accounting requirements of IFRS 10 can be classified as follow. First, consolidation procedure. Second, other accounting requirement. Consolidation procedure can be explained in three steps. First, combine items of asset, liabilities, equity, income, expense, and cash flows of the parent with those of its subsidiaries. Second, offset or eliminate the carrying amount of parent's investment in each subsidiaries and the parent's portion of equity of each subsidiaries. Third, eliminate in full intra-group assets and liabilities, equity income, expense and cash flows relating to transaction between entities of the group. Other accounting requirements Apart from basic consolidation procedure, IFRS 10 guide about the rules of consolidation of financial statements, presentation of non-controlling interest in equity but separately from the equity of owners of the parent. Number 2. Uniform accounting policies shall be used by both parent and subsidiary. Number 3. The financial statements of the parent and subsidiary shall have the same reporting date. Exceptions in IFRS 10 There are few exceptions of IFRS 10 at the time of consolidation. A parent does not need to present consolidated financial statements if it meets all of the following conditions. Number 1. It is a wholly owned subsidiary or is a partially owned subsidiary of another entity. Number 2. Its debt or equity instruments are not traded in a public market. Number 3. And if it is an investment entity. Characteristics of investment entities are as follow. It has more than one investment. It has more than one investor. It has investors that are not related parties of the entity. And it has ownership interest in the form of equity or similar interest. 